So I recently picked up 10 of these Mighty Max Horror Heads and I've already reviewed a couple, but I was super keen to get around to Mighty Max fights Nuke Ranger. Just because when the villain shows up in a hazmat suit, you know something big is about to go down. And I really like the look of the helmet here with the crazy eyes. I guess they had some awesome source material to work off at least. One thing I did like with this set was the way the inside worked with the exterior of the set. Obviously the eyes are one aspect, but the radiation symbol on this guy's head actually forms a bit of a vent for the reactor inside the set. So opening this guy up, it's one of those sets that creates a really cool little scene in here. We can pull out the hover pod to reveal the nuke ranger hiding underneath. I do really like the simple details painted onto the floor. There's nothing flashy or over the top. The new Granger isn't much for flashy decorations. We do get some poor irradiated skeletons scattered on the top section, but I think for me, everything in here works because it's so minimal. They really nailed the color scheme and the details are minor, but they really add to the environment of the playset. The biggest piece is the hover pod. It's got a place for the mighty one to stand and grooves for the new Granger to sit. Personally, I think the vehicle looks a little bit awkward just due to how much is visible from the outside of the set. So it really had to form two functions, one as a vehicle and one as part of the um, new Ranger's mask. So I feel like they tried to find a middle ground, but it just didn't quite line up. So the story here, how does Mighty Max handle the imposing new Ranger? Um, the story is he hides behind a skeleton and then he decides to throw the skeleton at the nuke ranger, causing him to fall into his very own nuclear reactor. Mighty Max has gotten off pretty easy before. I'm nearly convinced that under that really big biohazard suit, nuke ranger is just this confused old man who, firstly, he couldn't see someone hiding behind a skeleton, but then he was convinced that the skeleton came alive when Mighty Max threw it at him, so not quite sure what to make of him. Anyway, the set is really cool, and it could nearly tie in with like the radioactive theme we got in the Stings the Scorpion zoom zone. I do like the clean, clinical look overall here, and we got a pretty big vehicle. They're a bit unusual to get a big vehicle in the horror head, so definitely treasure it while we've got it. If you're a fan of these horror heads, be sure to subscribe to catch the upcoming videos. Check out the website for some more high quality images and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.